So hi everyone. Uh, this video is created um, for an uh, as an additional video to our um, lesson in fractals in mathematics in the modern world. What we have here in front of us is an application or a software which we call NetLogo. NetLogo is a software created by Yuri Wilensky of the Northern Northwestern sorry Northwestern University. So um, this is um, his work and of the universities work so what it can do is it can uh, do a lot of stuff you can write some codes here in in such a way that you can um, put something and whatever you want to do with the with this um environment the the good thing here in that logo why i why i told you to, that we will use this in fractals is that it comes with some models okay with a model library so let's click here in um file and we'll click on models library um, next time i will click on just the command m a shortcut so if, if you'll click that you will be um, shown into different uh, actually a lot of types of models that is already pre-created okay in in um, net logo so you can you can um, actually put some art here you can just um, have some fireworks would you want follower gen jam um, and others okay um, if you want you can have some biology stuff here and you can actually what it can do it can it can simulate what um uh, what can possibly happen for example if one thing which is particular now is the virus here go to biology and go to virus and say you want to open this up and uh it will load a while um what it will give you is it will give you a simulation of what will happen if a, if there's a virus spread so for instance uh, not not in particular um coronavirus so how will it uh spread okay um with 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 the number of people with a percent of infection and with a percent of um of you um being healed by the virus so uh, being healed from the virus sorry so here so we will click setup. So what you'll see, what you'll see here is is um, some um, buttons, some what do you, what do you call this again? You call this a slider, okay? Uh, what the what is the level of infectiousness? Infectiousness, the chance of recovery, the duration of the virus, and then the number of people here. So for instance, we'll we'll do the the default one, and we'll click on setup, and it will show you people over here, okay? So here you can see also a graph. Okay, showing us a flow. Um, this this is a, a time plot, and then you can see here the 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 um the people. Red the red ones are sick. Um, the green ones are healthy. So if I'm going to click go, it will simulate. Um, you can see here in the graph what is happening. So you can see the total number. Um, green are healthy, red are sick, the gray ones are immune. So you can see how they interact. Um how the virus is spreading and you can see there is some some um singularity in here in the total and then, but you can see the immunity the healthy people and the, and the and the sick people are like doing some curve there so this is what happens um for example if you have a virus which has this this infectious infectious infectiousness level this chance recovery this duration okay so say for instance i want to click stop click and go and i want to set it up i want to have um 300 people and I want the infectiousness set up. I want the infectiousness to be um, 80%. I want the chance recovery to be uh, say something like, let's make it low, 40%. And the virus will last for 30 weeks. Let's click on setup and then let's click go. Let's see what will happen. Uh, you can see there. So the, the graph is, is, is um, changing rapidly. And actually, we have here the number of years, so it's not really just once, okay? Not a one big time, one big time um, event. It's running in years. We have the level of immunity, the percent, the level of effective infectiousness in percent. So you can see it there, um, um, simulating. Now, what we want in this video, this is just one example of what NetLogo can offer. Um, again, this is by Northwestern University by Yuri Walensky. Um, what, uh, what I want you to do, what we want to do here in, in this video, of course, this is like a video in, in Fractal. So what we're going to do is we're going to open some libraries, some models pertaining to fractals. So we'll open the mathematics folder 
and we'll enough. click on the fractals subfolder inside the mathematics folder and you can see here some um, common popular fractals so let's try to start with the co-curves so the co-curve is created by Helge von Koch a Swedish mathematician who in 1904 introduced what is now known as the co-curve this curve contains no straight lines which are smooth in the sense that we can see them as carefully bent line rather this curve has much of the complexity which we could see in the natural coastlines folds within folds within folds and so on so let's open this up so this is the co-curve um, loading um, here. So let's set it up. And this is one line. You can see the, the blue strip of line there. If you're going to click step, what, what this co-curve will do is that it will divide the line into um, four equal parts. The two middle, the two middle parts, um, it will bend it into something like a triangle. You know, it will make it a make a bulge out of it. For instance, like here. So there are four parts one two three four of the original line and then the the the, the middle the middle part you will make it like, like a triangle okay uh, or rather you will divide the line to three three equal parts and then in the 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 middle part you will bend you will um you will um some something like pull it okay going uh, in such a way it will become a triangle so what you will what you will do this is the first iteration it creates four segments and um, if I'm going to click step again, it will create the, the second the iteration, the second um, step. And it will do the same process here, 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 and here. So divide this into three, pull the pull the middle part in such a way it will become a triangle. You do this also here, also here, and here. So if I'm going to click step, it will become like this. Okay. So this is a co-curve. You just continue doing what you... What you um, are doing in the with the line so this becomes there's a bulge here triangle 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 and do that with everything it will look like this okay if we're going to continue this um it will you can see there's some curves um appearing okay and you can continue we can bear, we can see the curves uh, it's really 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 dense there um and then if we're going to continue it's very dense right now you can see that the total length is something like here and um, as we go further, um, we can barely see the the curve because it's becoming very dense because of the dots and the pixels on the screen. And if I'm going to continue clicking steps, my computer might not handle it, okay? Because there's too many lines there, which is too very 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 small. So that is a co-curve. So again, let's let's click it. Let's let's put the steps there. That's the way that it will be um, enough to, for the eyes to see. So. So this is the co-curve. Okay, one example of of the fractals in the in NetLogo, um, NetLogo examples in the models library. So let's go back to the models library. What else can NetLogo let us see? Let's click on here, and we want to check first. Um, say we want to check first the Ser Serpinski simple. So let's open this up. It will give us the Serpinski triangle. Um, the Serpinski triangle is something like this. Okay, and we'll go once. It will create these three lines. Actually, it will create a triangle. Um, the the arrow heads representing the vertices of the triangle. We we'll go again once. It will show us three triangles, and then we'll continue doing that. And then the iteration will 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 continue in such a way that in every endpoint of the arrow uh, arrow point, um, it will it will it will recreate that. So this is a triangle within a triangle within a triangle. Um, in such a way, if we're going to zoom this in here, you'll create, you'll see um, a replica of the original image. If you continue doing that, you will see more replica of the, of the, of the entire image. And then you continue. Uh, if I continue doing that, my computer cannot handle it. Um, there's too many um, lines there, and uh, you can see it's very, very dense already. So, um, I think one more once um, it will take. Um, some time to load. You can see it here. Okay, so I think that the point is uh, it. Okay, here it's done. It's still moving though. Okay, so the point is it's getting denser and denser. So let's go back to the Moss Library. That's the Serpinski uh, triangle. There's another um, similar like that. We call it the Serpinski gasket. Instead of a triangle, it makes use of a square. 
So let's let's try this uh, star fractal over here. So again, a, a fractal is like a self-similar object, right? If you're going to zoom in into into an into a pod part of the image, you can see the original image, but um, it's not identical, but it's somehow the same. So let's click on setup for the star fractal. Um, I want to set up the level to be zero in such a way that we can see it um, from the first part. So we can see that um, the turtle there. A uh, turtles is the is the name of the of the um, object of an object, okay, in that logo or something like um a uh, 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 a thing in in that logo so we call they call the turtles so we'll click a single go um the fractal level is zero it will just make it something like a star or rather yeah a star um we can make it sl um slower by making use of the slider here making it um of less um less uh, speed so we can make or we can see the 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 pattern of where the the um the lines are going if the fractal level is if we're going to increase that it will look like this there so you can see there are more triangles now instead of the one which is the bigger one let's make it even smaller slower like that then we do that and then that and then that and then that okay okay so that's the fractal level um one uh, if we're going to continue with fractal level two, see as it goes here. Okay, you can even create more more stars with that, and it continues um, more further. Okay, so that is two um, levels. If we're going to continue with three, it will look like that. Okay. And then it's kind of messed up, but you can see the patterns there at the back. Um, you can see a lot of triangles happening. You can see the the number of triangles versus the time it can it 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 it, it, it takes to finish it. So it's a, it's a normal curve. Okay, so that's for the fractal level three. Um, you can see pretty much it's it's kind of it's kind of messed up, but 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 you can see if you if you're going to make use of different colors, you can see that there are triangles uh, there. There's an even smallest triangle over here. Okay. If we're going to make it four, let's try. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's still producing tri turtles. Whoa. Okay. So you can see there's pretty much a lot of things going on over here. So um, all right, it's it's not very good in the eyes, maybe because of its color. But um, I think if we're going to change the color, it will be something better. Okay, it's kind of messed up. Um, it's we cannot clearly see the triangles anymore because of of the same U which is being used, which is color, which is uh, red. Okay, so anyways, that's a star triangle. Let's go back to the malls library. Um, let's try to click on that tree symbol, and we'll click open with that. And uh, what you will see is a simple tree, 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 tree fractal. Click on setup. You go once. It will do something like this. You go another once. So there's a Y, right? There's a line. And then if you're going to reiterate, uh, if you're going to iterate, it will, it will broke into two parts, okay, at a certain angle. So if you're going to continue this, it's going to create a tree by itself, okay? So this is what they call the tree fractal, okay? So um well it's pretty messed up here in this part because the 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 screen can only have as much as this box. But if we can if we will if we can extend so we can see the, this green ones extending. Okay, so that's the tree fact tree fractal. Um the rest of the parts here will be on the second video. What we haven't finished here is the L system fractals and the Mandelbrot set. Okay, so we'll be talking about this in the next video. Um, kindly stay tuned. Um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and see you. Thank you.